And news tonight, changes are expected next year at a school in Greenville that teaches children with disabilities. In a story you will only see here on 7, our Elise Devlin hears from the school and speaks to parents about what this means for their kids. For years, programs for the UU World of Children's Schooling have been held in the Greenville United Universalist Fellowship Facility. Parents say it was a space where preschoolers and elementary school students with disabilities were taught. The preschool program began as an idea for the fellowship, and along the way, an elementary school program was formed. According to the fellowship's board of trustees, because of a contractual agreement, they can no longer keep the elementary school program in its current location. However, it will continue for preschoolers. In a statement to 7 News, the Greenville United Universalist Fellowship explained they have always provided their space and utilities free of charge to UU World of Children, which is a separate legal entity with its own board of directors. In the same statement, they say it was brought to their attention they were not in compliance with the contract that was approved by the congregation that says facilities are for preschool and a transitional year for students not ready to enter the first grade, saying nothing about an elementary school program. Families with children in the elementary school program now must look for different options. Many of the families I spoke with called this decision heartbreaking. They believe it will change everything for their children. For parents of children who have disabilities, it's a much harder task for them to find a school that meets the needs of their children. Jessica Sharp has a daughter enrolled in the UU World of Children program. She's one of multiple parents who shared their frustration with 7 News on Saturday, telling us the announcement is leaving families little time to decide what to do next, seeing that the Greenville County school choice has already passed. In order to find a, a school placement for her that is going to even begin to support her in the same way is not going to be an easy task and school choice ended last week I believe um, there are some magnet schools but those are difficult to get into and again there's not a, a public Montessori option so to find a comparable experience for our children is quite frankly not possible now parents with children in the elementary program are brainstorming options one idea they have to find and lease a separate location we have to essentially find a way to very quickly pull together a semblance of this program at a different location. So we have to find a location. We have to figure out how we're going to pay for uh, a building, whether we're going to rent it or lease it or whatever it is, um, find out, find teachers. As the news continues to settle in for families, Sharp reflected on the impact the school has had on her entire family. It's such a loving and empathetic and beautiful Montessori experience for children, and we were so thrilled when we found this place. She says she's unsure about enrolling her daughter in a public school after a negative experience in the past, but with this announcement, it's something she may soon have to explore again. In Greenville County, Elise Devlin, 7 News.